Time to buy yourself a new scraper and multi-tool. Well, check this out. It's the Purdy 10-in-1 Decorators Tool, and we're gonna check it out right now. <laughs> Hey what's up guys, Justin here and welcome to my channel. Now if this is the first time to my channel then don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one. Now in today's video we're taking a look at this. It's the Purdy 10-in-1 Decorators Tool and I'm excited about this already, I really am. I'm loving this. So it does claim to have 10 different uses. So we're gonna check out all these different uses and then we're going to put this tool to the test. So before we put it to the test, let's just read out all the different things this tool can do. Set nails, scrape, open cans, spread compound, open clean cracks, clean roller, bottle opener, flat and Phillips screwdriver bit, and nail puller. Well, uh, that's quite a few things to claim to be able to do, so uh, let's give it a go. This tool is fantastic for cleaning out these small cracks, particularly here between the window and the wall. It's sharp enough to get right in that crack to clean it out. So this scraper works really well to get the paint off this roller. It's great for getting the excess water off of the roller as well once it's been cleaned. Okay, so let's take a look at the screwdrivers then. So we've got a slotted and a Phillips screwdriver. Now, I've got to say the Phillips screwdriver doesn't look brilliant, but uh, let's give it a go anyway. So here I've got a Phillips screw. Mm, and as you can probably see, it's not going in there at all. I mean, the end of this is quite big and uh, this screw is a little bit small so uh, probably a, a larger Phillips size screw it would work but definitely not this one. So the screw next to it here, this is a posi screw and the end of it looks a little bit bigger and, uh, and that will actually go in there quite nicely. I mean it's not a perfect fit but as you can see that definitely does the job and it's quite nice because you can use this part of the screwdriver as the lever to help turn it which I'm a little bit concerned about when we move on to this slotted screw because you haven't got a lot to twist it with now so uh, obviously that fits well and uh, yeah okay so it works but as I've said already it's quite hard to hold it if you're going to have to work quite hard to screw or unscrew this it doesn't really allow you to get much leverage on it but um, you know that's not bad it's definitely going to get you out of trouble so I'm going to use the end of this now to open this tin of paint there we go no problem now the end of this scraper is quite sharp so uh, trying to flatten off some of this filler that's on the wall here should not be a problem. Brilliant. So scraping away some old flaky paint shouldn't be an issue either. going to be a job for me to sort out now isn't it? So we've got this block of wood, I've got a couple of nails in there, let's see if we can get them out with this nail puller. Okay yeah there's one, that comes out quite nicely. So let's have a go getting this larger nail out and this might be a little bit more tricky because it's already quite far out of the timber here so I'm going to use this 
bit of wood just to help lever the nail out. And I think you'll agree, that's quite a hefty nail that, but uh, do you know what? It didn't mind doing that at all. One of the things I like about this tool is the weight of the handle, and that's because it's got this metal end right here, which is absolutely great for starting a nail in a wall. And particularly with this wall being dry lines, you could hit it right through. Look at that, no problem. I guess if you wanted to get it out, use the nail puller. So with all those holes we've just made in the wall, we can use this as a spreader to get that filler in there. There we go, lovely job. So another use I have for this tool is to actually undo the screw on my roller. That's really handy. And then when you're all done, you can crack yourself open a nice J2O and pour yourself a drink. Oh yeah, cheers. So there it is guys, the Purdy 10 in one painter's tool. I'm loving this. The other great thing about it is it's rust resistant stainless steel. It's a really hard metal, really good quality. I'm hoping this is gonna last for a long time now. Now you can pick this up for about eight or nine pounds. I think it was about that much I got it off Amazon. So it's not a bad price to pay for such a quality tool. I mean, just the feel of it, the weight of it, the look of it, just, uh, it just spells professionalism. How do you spell professionalism? Anyway, don't forget to check out some of my other videos and to subscribe, hit that bell icon so you will get notified when I release a new video. Now, if you've got any tools similar to this, or if you have got this tool, let me know in the comments box below what you think and if you have got any other uses for it, that would be fantastic. So uh, in the meantime, um, I'm out of here and I'll see you on the next video.